Hey folks, Solar Gamer here, <clears throat> and I want to do a little review here for Conquest of Planet Earth from Flying Frog Productions. Alright, well, you've seen me play through it a couple times, you've seen how it is. The game is not overly complex, a lot of rules. It's one of those games which is very simple. Uh, not much strategy to it, but a whole lot of fun. It also differs from the fact that, you know, as you've seen on the artwork, it differs from Flying Frog's usual standard. And it gives this cartoonish 50s Mars Attacks feel to it, which the theme is really good on it. So let's go, uh, let's go over the components. I have to give the components about uh, two thumbs up. Um, I like the components. I like the cards. The artwork on the cards is amazing. And the little funny captions they have on them are pretty funny. All, all the components are, are pretty good, you know, uh, from the ships to the tokens to the um, resistance counters, everything. So I like the components of this game. This game is pretty good with the component wise, so I can't complain about it. Uh, uh, the website, I'm gonna give it two thumbs up as well. Well, no, actually I'm gonna give it a one thumb up. <laughs> okay, this is why. Now, Flying Frog is usually pretty good about their website, but they don't have any free stuff for this one. Unlike Last Night on Earth or Touch Evil, which has a galore of free stuff they don't have any free stuff for this one right here which I find that kind of weird um, I wish they did have free stuff for this I really do but they don't have free stuff for this one they do have a couple web supplements that I recommend if you get this game I recommend you get both the base game and the expansion because the expansion does add a lot to it and has more variety and I also recommend you get the web supplements. I think they're like 10 or 12 bucks, and they give you a new alien and a few new cards. So they're, they're worth it. So I would definitely get that. Uh, let's go with theme. Two thumbs up on the theme. Um, <laughs> you just can't beat it. It does have that cheese ball feel of 50s Martian movies, 50s uh, sci-fi comics, 50s sci-fi movies. It just has a great feel to it. Everything from the well-armed redneck to Captain Fantastic to the kooky aliens. It just, it's like you're waking up on a Saturday morning when you were a kid or watching TV on a Friday, late Friday night when you were a kid on the old channels. Um, I'm kind of telling my age here, anybody over 30, 35 will know what I'm talking about. When you used to watch the old movies on black and white and the little alien would be flying over the screen hanging by a string and you could see it and the aliens all look cheesy and weird and that's what this game feels like I mean it does feel like that it takes you back if you're really if you're a little younger and you, you never grew up to that kind of stuff you may not feel it as much but for somebody who's you know, <laughs> late 30s like me you you kind of you know what I'm talking about and you know how that makes you feel and so it takes you back to the days of when um uh, well, just the younger days when things were pretty good. And I, I, you, you can tell that Jason Hill, the guy who made this game, you can tell he grew up to a bunch of old cheesy 50s sci-fi movies. Or, you know, it's the kind of stuff you would see on Mystery Science Theater 3000. Um, so I, I give the theme two thumbs up. The rules, uh, I'll give the rules. Uh, I'll give the rules two thumbs up. Um... You know, this game, unlike the other Flying Frogs, unlike really, this game is, is different than, I have every game Flying Frog has, okay? Let's put it like that. And out of all of them, this is the least complex. It's the most easiest to do, is just move, fight, draw a covert fight. Um, not much strategy required. It's basically luck of the dice, drawing cards and stuff like that. So. Um, if you want strategy, complex, yeah, uh, this game's not for you. But if you want a fun game where you can just dive right into and you can have somebody with you and you want to teach them how to play, then by all means, play it. Because not, it's not going to have a big learning curve. You're going to learn it pretty quick. And it's going to be fun. It's, for a game that is so simple with the rules, this game is a lot of fun. Um, So I'll tell you what, I'll give the, the rules of one. So we're at, what, six? And then I will, for my final one, my, my fun factor here, 
I'm going to give it a plan out to. I mean, you know, this game is just fun. Um, I enjoyed playing it. I enjoyed having it. It was worth it. But I cannot stress enough that if you're going to buy this game, get both sets. Okay? Um, they complete each other. It adds a hell of a lot more variety. And, you know, it's just, it's just better that way. Um, Flying Frog only has the one expansion for this game. This game is kind of on their under their radar. Um, after they came out with this Apocalypse expansion, they've kind of neglected it. But I wouldn't say they neglected it because of poor sales or because they just don't want to do anything else with it. I would say because they're working on other projects and just haven't got back around to this yet. So I would eagerly buy any more expansions they put out for this game in a heartbeat. No question about it. Um, I probably would like to see at least one more expansion for this. Um, to add a little bit more variety and a few things and some more cards. But if they don't come out with any more expansions for this game, if this is it, then you know I'm happy with it. Um, I'm very happy with it. I'm like, okay, um, well, I can always pull it out with somebody who's really not into complex strategy games and play with them and or somebody who grew up at the same time with me and watched the old 50 sci-fi movies and we could have a ball playing it. And, um, you know, you can play this game with freaking six players. I mean, so, it, you know, the more you have, the more kind of a beer and pretzels party game type thing you have because it's not overly complex. And you can sit around, drink some beers, get a little drunk and have fun playing this and pick your alien and blow the hell out of humans. So, Conquest of Planet Earth. Uh, I have to give it an 8 out of 10. Um, it's not the best from Flying Frog, don't get me wrong. I like Touch of Evil and Fortune and Glory and uh, those types of games better. But for a simple, basic type game, this game does satisfy and it is pretty good. And I would recommend wholeheartedly you get it. And I would beg Flying Frog and Jason that if you ever get a chance, please at least make one more expansion for this. Because I always enjoy getting taken back to the old cheesy sci-fi movies. This is Solar Gamer saying see you next time. Bye.